Let's hope the sound's better on this one. Hello again and welcome back to Scott and Wonders World. Fat Ugly one is back with another one of his bullshit beer reviews. Fat man sits in the shed talking about a beer he's currently drinking whilst the dog runs at him and says hello type video. Hey you doing, Hugo? Good boy. Same colour as my table. Well, you were once upon a time. Um, still going through some of these new beers. So there's some done some of the Sainsbury stuff. Do a lot more of the Tesco stuff because it's stuff that I can actually get to. Uh, Sainsbury's and Morrison's can be a bit of a pain. There's certainly the one on the A3 that's in Cow Plain. People that know this area hasn't stocked any of the new beers that they've had in, which has been a bit of a surprise to me. Actually, the one that I thought should be napalmed, the one just over there, is actually got some of the new stuff. Um, this was one I wasn't sure I was going to pick up or not, to be fair. And it, <laughs> curiosity got the better of me. Now, this is a for the uninitiated. I've had a couple of Pina Colada Pale Ales and IPAs. One was from, I don't think I'll put it on the channel. One was from um, a friend of the channel, Toby, Tyrannosaurus 69. He sent me some stuff from Glen Afric Brewery. And within that package was basically beers he didn't like and one of them was a pina colada pale ale and it was absolutely revolting smelt like sick tasted like sick it went down the sink and um, the other one was from brew dog which was there something beach palm beach all like that this i don't know if it's still i think it might have gone from tesco now that was a pina colada pale ale stroke ipa so that was terrible as well so this one i wasn't sure on i wasn't sure i was going to pick it up wasn't sure i was going to do anything with it but then went over on monday i think it was um i picked myself up a beer or two and obviously morrison's do four for three as do most of the supermarkets hello oh thank you got a bit of a headache nothing like that paracetamol anyway yeah so um went over um went to pick up can't remember what i was going to pick up now oh no i picked up the erdinger no i didn't <laughs> did i yeah i picked up the erdinger for the the joint battle video picked up a couple of years for wonder and i picked up one for myself and this was it and i thought you know what i'm gonna pick it up for a laugh so it's it's from Northern Monk. And Northern Monk have gone huge into this these three big beer drops from Sainsbury's, Morrison's, and Tesco. They've gone big. I think they've put at least 10, I would think. There's three or four in Morrison's. It's going to be eight, eight, nine, or 10 beers into the three supermarkets. Some good, some not so good, some pretty crap. Um, I'm not sure where this one's going to, going to sit, but I thought it'd be a good laugh if it's terrible. And it's their ship prepped. Now, the reason I picked it up was because it says transient at the top. Now, people that don't know, transient from Northern Monk was what absolutely phenomenal. I think it's still around in Morrison's. It's tremendous. It's a tremendous, tremendous beer. Um, Northern Monk supermarket beers uh, they've got their model right and they're just putting this, this crap some of this stuff which is, is i was gonna say crap uh debatable taste into supermarkets and then all the good stuff is on, uh, online and they're bought in bottle shops and in their in their tap room have they have they actually got their um their model right and everyone else has got it wrong i don't know but transient was a tremendous beer um, this is shipwrecked, transient shipwrecked. So I'm assuming the base beer is the same. And this is a Pina Colada IPA coming at 7%. Um, I fear the worst, if I'm honest. I like the can. It's like their, their, um, their twist edition stuff. So probably one of their twist edition beers. Obviously, a Pina Colada, pineapple, grapefruit. That's not true. Pineapple and coconut. Um... I'm not so I don't think I've ever had a pina colada, but yeah, interesting. So it says, uh, pina colada IPA washed up on the island. Luckily, 
you like pina colada so grab this beer and escape ingredients water malted barley wheat oats hops natural flavors and yeast let's okay, unless they're using sort of sabro i don't know the flavor of the coconut's going to come from any hops this should be fun wish me luck i've got one to use my northern monk glass the seed books one as well so transient was cracking absolutely cracking but i don't know if they've ruined it certain supermarket beers they're good to get them early some of them just don't touch with a fucking barge pole looks decent nice hazy deep orange color that doesn't look too bad in the glass at all so on looks alone it looks quite nice let's go for a sniff You're getting that pineapple <laughs> coconut. Predominantly pineapple. A very synthetic pineapple, I may add. It doesn't smell like that poke pineapple's coming from the hops. It does have a sick, sick smell to it. And I don't mean fucking sick, man. It's well sick. No, I mean it smells fucking sickly. Sickly sweet. Pineapple concentrate. Cheers. I can't remember, was it three pounds, three fifty? Pineapple up front. Like desiccated coconut on the back. Oh, it's, it's not for me. It's not. I'm trying to be polite. Why would you ruin Transient? They're, I'm assuming that's the base beer out of this. Why would you ruin Transient? Which I think is a double IPA, double dry hopped IPA. Can't remember. And shove a load of shit in it. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's not, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as the the Brewdog one. I will give it that. It's not as bad. And if you like a pina colada, I'm assuming you're going to like that. Um, some positives about the beer. Let's give the beer some positives. It's got a nice mouthfeel to it. It's very pillowy soft. 7% is nowhere to be seen. That's it. That's it. There's no hop character. Um, there's no malt character because it's all hidden behind that synthetic pineapple and it's like a desiccated coconut. Um, and that hides what is really a really good beer in Transient. Very sweet. Oh, it's not for me. It's not. I do think they've ruined it. I think they've ruined a really good beer. I say they, they does some things quite well. That seven percent isn't anywhere to be seen. The mouthfeel is actually quite nice. Quite an astringent, nasty back end to it, and full of adjuncts that just fucking ruin it. Ruin the base beer. Um, it's really, I'm, I'm, I knew what I was getting into, like, I'm not stupid, well, I am stupid, uh, I'm, not, I'm not stupid by any stretch of the imagination, I had a feeling I wasn't going to like it, I pick it up for shits and giggles, I like to take stuff for the team. Um, shipwrecked Pina Colada IPA from Northern Monk in Morrison's. 
it's a thumbs down it is they ruined it they ruined the, the, the decent base beer I'm just going around in circles this annoyed me you don't want to see me annoyed uh, because you wouldn't like me when I'm annoyed um, don't bother you might like it if you like a pina colada you're gonna like it for me it's not worth the money of the tin the artwork the can the time the effort fuck all um if you've tried shipwrecked transient shipwrecked pina colada ipa from northern monk let me know in the comments i might then they be a subjective some of you might like it um sunshine in the tin unfortunately it's a fucking overcast day in a tin to me it's just too sweet overly adjunct sweetness ruining that base beer in my opinion you may not agree and that's absolutely fine beer is subjective um yeah if you've had it leave a comment in the comments box if you haven't and you pick one up leave a comment in the comments box uh are you a fan of these sort of beers i don't mind adjunct to beers as long as they're done properly that for me is just ruined ruined a beer um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down there's a subscribe button over there me and want to see soon